Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and uh, in today's video we'll look into how we can uh, solve the long weapon uh, clipping into walls and all other objects problem. You see? So if we took a closer look yeah, this way you can even uh, shoot through the walls through the corners and so on uh, yeah, this is uh, not really good. And uh, yeah, into this video, we'll uh, look into how to solve this problem using only one uh, built-in uh, Unreal Engine component and uh, turn it into uh, something like like this. Yeah, you see, so the weapon is uh, kind of uh, gradually retracted as. Uh, we go closer to a wall, so it's like works like that. It works with corners, with the character rotation, and you you see as soon as like it's possible to extend it, uh, it uh, extends. And also, yeah, the same thing with the floor, and with uh, dynamic objects. So yeah, as soon as uh, there is uh, enough room, uh, the weapon extends back. So yeah, this is uh, the default uh, first-person character uh, setup provided by Unreal uh, Engine. And I only added one component here, uh, the built-in component Spring Arm. So what I did is that I, uh, I changed the uh, hierarchy a little bit. Uh, before that, first-person uh, mesh was underneath uh, the first-person camera, but I... Uh, inserted another component, uh, I inserted spring arm uh, in between them. And uh, also I shifted it a bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we take the same perspective as the character, I shifted it a bit to the right because, uh, I mean, this is not a perfect solution, of course. Uh, it is a simple solution because the weapon is uh, usually on the right, but I mean, you can change the location of the spring arm depending on the uh, main hands of the character and so on. Uh, and also you can change the length of the spring arm uh, depending on the length of the weapon. So in my case, uh, I just uh, kind of tweaked it a little bit uh, depending on the how, how it looked in the simulation. So yeah, if, obviously if you make it uh, too small, uh, the weapon will uh, clip uh, into the walls uh, a bit. And if you make it uh, too uh, big, uh, it will be too sensitive. So yeah, and uh, by the way, uh, the, uh, like the arm length is uh, negative uh, because usually spring arms, they extend uh, the other direction, they extend uh, kind of behind you because they are made primarily for cameras. But uh, yeah, I just make it negative uh, to make it extend uh, in front. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, so what happens uh, uh, in the background, uh, like once the spring arm touches uh, any obstacle, it just uh, moves uh, the character mesh a bit uh, to the back, and that's it. Um, yeah, it's uh, maybe far away from a perfect solution, uh, but yeah, really simple and easy to implement. So yeah, let's take a look. Uh, so it just uh, moved the character mesh. Uh, let's uh, enable collision to see better. So yeah, uh, so kind of physically, our actor, the actor's collision, the character's collision is uh, still uh, close to the wall, but uh, like the visual part, uh, the mesh is uh, simply shifted back. So yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.